Hey everybody, Rich Boy J here back again with another update video on my custom UCS Millennium Falcon. Now this one's going to be quite a long video because I've done a lot on this thing since the last time you guys have seen it. If you're wondering why I'm making such fast progress on this, the first thing is that I had a lot of this planned out on LED originally. So um, it, it's really just been following those directions and then maybe modifying a few things here and there. But secondly... I'm taking this to Legoland Star Wars Days next weekend in uh, Legoland, California. So that's why I'm trying to get this thing prepared, and hopefully I can make that happen. I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far, though, so I think I should be able to make it happen. But without further ado, let's get into this mod. So far, um, I've gotten pretty much all of the underside finished up. The interior is almost done. I'm just waiting for some parts to come in. And now I'm just really working on uh, fixing up some of the exterior, like these greebling sections in here. You can see I've already even started the hyperdrive section. I'm hoping I'll have enough time to put some lights right behind that so it'll glow. If not, that'll be something that I do after Legoland. But I just want to get the aesthetic correct at the moment. I also begin um, trying to fit in some of these hole plates. So this one fits in pretty good and it's able to just be lifted right off of there. And that's what I'm really going for here. I want all these um, hole plates to be able to be removed so you can see the interior pretty easily. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the inside. I guess I broke that. Alright, I want to start with this middle section right here. As you can see, Finn is manning the controls at the top turret. And I really like this section because this part right here just peels right off. And then you can get a better look at Finn in there. And then also it makes it for a good aesthetic from here on the side where you can see the ladder. I know it's really dark in there, but it's really cool to see it in the hallway. And then if you want to access the underside, this actually just pulls straight out of here. And then you can see the other side. So if you wanted, you could put Luke and Han in there and have them manning the guns on the Falcon. Now I'll start with the back room. This is the hyperdrive room. I'm still waiting to get some more parts in. I want to get these tubes, but in light gray. And I also want to um, switch out these yellow tiles right here to the gold ones. Because I mean, just I think that looks amazing. My original design started off with the yellow tiles, but then I realized I had quite a few of the gold ones. And I tried that out and it ended up looking pretty good. I also ordered a few more of these like tube type parts. I want to have um, them coming from here going into that wall right there. And right here you see C-3PO is chilling out. I actually ordered a bunch of rubber bands because I want to have uh, the scene where he's tangled in wires and he thinks he's melting. And the wires are going to be coming out of the wall right there, which is why I left that hole. And then this room right here is just a cargo section. Now, this is going to depend on um, how the sizing right here works out. I ultimately intended to have this room with just a bunch of crates and stuff like that inside of it. And then I was going to set the battery box somewhere in here for the lights that would shine around the hyperdrive. But if that area doesn't end up being big enough, or if the hole plates on the top of it hang too low, I'm going to have to move the battery box to end there. I think it'll work out either way, though. You can see I started a lot of the hallways. Still weighing on some of the tan tiles to make it complete. I'll go ahead and show you guys this room. This room is kind of like a um, control panel station. There's a lot of just computers and circuitry and things like that in here. And I'm also waiting on some tiles to finish up the floor. And then this room, this is... Um, Kind of like, oh, this is this is the room where when Luke gets his hand cut off, he's sleeping in one of those beds. And on the other side of that room, there's actually like a mini kitchen and a bathroom. So that's where the kitchen is. It's got the blue milk sitting there. And then this is a bathroom. I like it too because a minifigure can actually fit in there. Now let's take you guys back around this way. This is the entrance to the ship. As you can see, those are the gears that I had made for the retractable boarding ramp. I'll go ahead and show you guys that in action real quick. 
check this out. So obviously a lot of this is going to be hidden. I have those studs right there on the side of that corridor. Um, so I can put some of the greebling right there. But here is the boarding ramp. Comes straight down, then it goes right back up. It's good stuff. Now I'm going to take you guys back around this way. Did a little weathering on the wall right there. And then this hallway, got BB-8 chilling out. Luke right here practicing with his lightsaber. Got old Ben teaching him. Right there is the computer where um, Han was sitting, being a non-believer of the Force. Now it's kind of hard to see, but that's Chewie in there, in that section. That's the bed where when he gets injured in the Force Awakens, where he goes and lays down and Finn tends to him. And this, of course, is the famous couch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the stickers from the couch on the Millennium Falcon, and I'm going to lay them on that arch right there. I think they'll fit in there pretty well, and it'll give it some more detail in that section. And then, coming back around here, you got some detail and circuitry in the wall right there. And then finally, there's just that main hallway that goes to the cockpit. No one's in there right now. All right, guys, that's going to finish up this update video. Wow, it's really amazing. I'm loving the way this thing is coming out. This is absolutely my favorite mock that I've ever made, and I just can't wait to see it finished up. And that's going to end this video, guys. Once again, if you like what I do, if you want to see more cool LEGO stuff like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well so you can be the first to see anything that I release. And, um, oh, there's one more thing I definitely did. Actually, two more things. There's so many features in this thing, I almost forget it to show you guys these. So this is that floor hatch where Ray and Finn hide. See, Ray is taking a nap in there. Almost ended the video without showing you guys this. And then also, I added the smuggling compartment where they hide in A New Hope. It's kind of hard to get out of there, especially with one hand. Here, let's see if I can do this. There we go. And then you just peel this one off right here. I got to remember to check these things. I can leave figures in there. And then you had Luke chilling in there. All right. Now that's the actual ending to this video. Have a great day, guys. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.